In this week's Tableau Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to do a pie chart drill down. Now, this isn't necessarily something I would recommend that you create, but I think it was a fun technique to learn, and I wanted to share it with you because I think it'll be a good way to show you how to use set actions. So let's first look at an example of what I'm talking about. So here you see I have a pie chart, and every time that I hover over a section of the pie chart, you'll see it drills down on the inside into each of the subcategories. So let's go ahead and see how we go about building that. So first thing we want to do is we want to build a pie chart. We do that by changing the mark type to pie. Let's put category and color and sales on angle. And let's go ahead and sort the categories by sales. OK, there we go. And I'm just going to make it fit entire view just so we can see it a bit better and make it a bit bigger. OK, great. So now. What we want to do is we want to create a set action that allows us to drill down from category to subcategory. So on the category field, I'm going to right click and choose create set. And I'm going to call this my category set. And just for, for now, I'm going to just choose furniture. OK, so and now that we have the category set, we want to tell Tableau what to do with it. So I'm going to call this cat to subcat. And I'm going to say if that they choose something in the category set, then return my subcategories, else return my category. So what this is going to do is if I hover over one of the slices, it's going to break it down to subcategory, but it's going to leave the other ones the way that they are. OK, so let's go ahead. And now we need to basically make um, a pie chart inside of a pie chart. So to do that, I need to create an axis. So I'm just going to create a dummy axis called the average of zero. And we're going to uncheck include in tooltip. And let's go ahead and make the pie chart bigger so we can see it a bit better. And I'm just going to go ahead and do my, oops, uh, wrong direction. There we go. Sorry, I'm just trying to get it just right. All right, that's good enough. And I want to go ahead and duplicate that. And this time, instead, of, I, want, I want category on the color shelf, but I also want to have my cat to subcat drill down on color. So we start by putting it on detail. And then let's go ahead and put it on color. And now you can see that we have a nice little drill down of our furniture category. So you see furniture is the blue one here. So we're gonna, we'll fix the colors up in just a second. But what I want to do now is I want to go ahead and I, wanna, I need to be able to sort my um, category to subcategory as well. So let me show you uh, what happens if we choose the sort option. So let's go ahead and sort by, uh, by sales and in descending order. OK, and now we see we have office supplies. And then we have each of the subcategories within furnishings. And then we have technology. And that works because we have both fields sorted here. But I think my sort here I did as ascending. I want to change that to descending. OK, there we go. So we have technology. It's, it's red over here, but blue over here. So let's go ahead and clean up our, um, uh, well, let's first set up our set action to make sure we can get that working. So I'm going to set up a worksheet action. And I'm going to add a change set values action. And I'm going to say update category set. And I want to do it on everything in the data source. And uh, we want to do it on hover. And what I want to do is the target set is category set. And then I want to remove all values from the set so that it basically goes back to the values that are in the pie. OK, so now you see when I hover over, I get my uh, each of my sections drills in. OK, great. So now that we have that, let's go ahead and fix up the colors. So technology is red, furniture is blue, office supplies is orange. So let's go ahead and edit our colors here. And we want to have technology as red, uh, furniture as blue, and office supplies as orange. Hit OK. And now they match up. And uh, But now you see I've got a bit of a mess here. So uh, what I want to do is let's go ahead and... Uh, I'm gonna, I need to fix up my colors for the subcategories. So I need to go ahead and change my action so that it uh, does it on select. That way we can, uh, we can go ahead and assign those colors. So within the technology cate uh, category, I'm gonna go ahead and add my colors here. I'm gonna choose the red palette. And for technology and phones, I'm just gonna go ahead and say assign palette, okay. And I uh, did those backwards, right? So you see how the colors are backwards now. So let me change my sort then 
on my subcategory to be ascending because I want the colors to go from darkest to lightest. So you see when I click on category, okay, there we go. So uh, I need to go ahead and now fix the colors. And uh, I'm gonna go back to my red palette. Now I'm gonna go, oops, I need to go to red. And I'm gonna go ahead and assign the colors because they go from lightest to darkest. Okay, so now when I click on furniture, I need to do the same thing. So this time I'm gonna choose the blue palette and I wanna choose my subcategories within furniture, assign palette. And then lastly, I wanna to go to the orange palette. So let's edit colors and let's go to, uh, da -da -da -da, let's choose orange. And now we wanna go within office supplies and hit assign palette and there we go. Okay, so now I can go ahead and resort this. So let's sort it again and in descending order. And let's make sure that works now. So I click on category, you see it goes from darkest to lightest, uh, darkest to lightest and darkest to lightest. Okay, perfect. So now I wanna go ahead and put one inside the other. So I'm gonna make it a dual axis and I'm gonna go ahead and synchronize my axis. And then I can go ahead and hide the headers. And on my, my first pie chart, I'm gonna make it a bit bigger. So it fills up the space a bit more. And then my second one, oh, let me go ahead and show the header again, because I want this axis to be in the, okay, that's good. Um, so you see now when I, when I um, well, we'll see it in just a second. Now this one, I want a bit smaller and I'm gonna actually reduce the opacity a bit as well. So let's go and maybe put it at 75%. I'm gonna put a, a white border on those. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and put a white border on this one as well. So let's go ahead and put the same border on. Okay, so now we get something like that and you can see they're the same color. So let's go back to our uh, set action and uh, let's go ahead and switch it back to hover and remove all values. And now you can see when I hover over the, uh, the orange, it drills into the orange, hover over the blue, it drills into the blue, et cetera. Okay, so uh, yeah, there we go. Um, and uh, so back on our tool tips now. So this tool tip should be okay. It says category and sales, that's good. And then this tool tip, we probably wanna have, uh, we wanna have category and then cat, subcat, uh, that's fine. Let's just leave it like that for now. And then I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my view to get rid of my row and column dividers to make it look a bit better. And uh, I need to go ahead and get rid of my zero lines. All right. And uh, it doesn't look like it did that for the other one. So let's go to rows, columns. Oh, there we go. We have a grid line to get rid of. And I can go ahead and hide that bottom axis now. Okay, so now when I uh, go to a dashboard, I can make it maybe a nice square dashboard. Uh, let's see, do we have a square option? We don't. So let me just go ahead and create one. So let's do it maybe by 600 by 600 or 650 by 650. I'm gonna go ahead and add the sheet, hide the title, and uh, maybe I'll go ahead and close that. Uh, let me just float this one. And now we have a nice uh, nice square pie chart. And when I hover over, you can see my little drill down and you can hover over each of those segments. So again, it's probably not something that you should necessarily use, but it is an interesting way to look at the data. Uh, pie charts aren't the best for um, communicating data and uh, being able to understand the differences between them. But um, when you sort them, you know, it helps a bit. So we can see, for example, storage is, is the largest inside that. Now, what, make, what, make, what might make a bit more sense is if we actually make this a percent of total. So let's make it a percent of total. And now you can see 31%, uh, 36%. And then within this one, uh, right. So on this one, we need to go ahead and uh, yeah, so when we drill in now, we can see that f uh, phones makes up 14% uh, of the overall. Uh, so maybe you want something like that. So uh, yeah, that's about it. And if you have any questions, uh, actually maybe what I'll do is I'll go ahead and put sales on the tooltip as well. And in my tooltip, I'm just gonna say percent of total sales. There we go. And clean that up. Hit okay. And now we can see that it looks a bit better. 
Okay, so hopefully you found that useful. Um, again, not necessarily something I would do, but it was fun to learn how to do it, and I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Have a good day.